I love that moment when a light goes on in someone's eyes and they think about something differently. For me, for a practice to be effective, it has to be situated within a narrative that has a particular telos. I was thinking about this. There's a lot of different practices I often do, but I realize one of the practices now that I've been engaged in for probably about 10 years is I teach Sunday school at my church. <laughs> Someone's got to do it, right? <laughs> It's a fantastic practice for me because it consistently pushes me to be in scripture. It pushes me to read theology. And then it also pushes me to keep thinking about my own vocation as a psychologist in relationship to those things. It puts me in conversation with people on a weekly basis around scripture. Oftentimes people who disagree with me <laughs> and who I disagree with. And what I've realized over time is that shaping me in really the virtue of hospitality. I'm not always good at this, right? I think I'm getting better actually. But when I get past that and, I, and I'm, I'm engaging this practice, I hope it's being formed in me as an automaticity where, oh, here comes my brother and sister in Christ. And they have a question and now we, what we do is we dialogue, we talk about it. And we can disagree and still love each other and still love God and at the end of the day we're gonna leave Sunday school and we're gonna go to worship together and we're gonna do that next. I had a colleague who had a great phrase. He used to say that students should try to make themselves comfortably uncomfortable. <laughs> but basically what he meant was, you know, push yourself a little bit. When you feel that discomfort, like sit in that, stay there. That in and of itself is a practice. That in and of itself takes work. But you know, when I'm working with a student, we were reading something the other night and some of my students were having a, a pretty strong visceral reaction. I said, well, let's stop for a second and ask the question, why do you so dislike this? <laughs> I mean, that's an interesting exercise, right? But again, it's sort of like doing therapy. You can't rush people. We do have a pace and we're in it for the long haul. And, you know, I've tried to engage in practices that just never really fit. Um, and sometimes I wonder, well, did I give it enough time or was there something about it that I just didn't like and it did make me uncomfortable? You know, back to teaching Sunday school, there's many a Sunday when I just don't want to do that because <laughs> it's hard, it takes time, and I know those people are going to come ask me questions afterwards, right? But I keep thinking, I don't just do this for them. I do it for us. And what would I miss if I don't keep staying in that even when it's uncomfortable? You know, just because you feel uncomfortable, don't give up on it just yet. You know, pray about that. Why do I feel uncomfortable? You know, what might God be wanting to show me in this moment? <laughs>